Okay, YouTube. I uh, have here a 2003 Kawasaki Ninja ZX7R. And uh, we just upgraded all of the uh, turn signals to LED, including a integrated brake and turn signal just to tidy up the rear. So a problem we're facing here is what you have with most bikes that have a single indicator right over here for both sides. Now, when you do put LEDs in, you're going to have that problem. It's going to make everything act as a hazard and your dash indicator will no longer work because it loses its ground. So LEDs draw very, very little and uh, they will back feed the power back through that bulb for both sides. That light bulb will act as a bridge. So sending the power from left to right, depending on which side you click the turn signal. So what we're going to do over here is we're going to separate those sides. I'm going to show you how to do that. On the back here, you'll see at the back of the light bulbs, you notice that the turn signal, let me focus in on here a bit. Come on, focus. No, there it is. Second turn signal, uh, the second light is the turn signal. And that is the green and gray wire coming up. And we're not going to cut it over there because that will just be too short. So we're just going to follow that back through the harness head. And here we go. You're going to see it right over here. You're going to see the gray wire right there in the middle. And the dark green in the corner. So on the other side of the connector is where we're going to cut it. You're going to see the same two wires follow through. Sorry, I forgot the focus here. And there's the green on the corner. And there's the gray in the middle. Now, it doesn't matter which side you cut. Uh, it can be either side, as long as you're feeding back through. Now, to make things a little easier here, uh, if you go to superbrightleds.com, you order what's called a metric bike diode kit. And basically what you see here is what you get. And you could make this yourself. You could just buy the two diodes and uh, go ahead and make a little Y and just shrink tube it. So you can almost see inside there, uh, living in here, are, are two diodes inside of this heat shrink tube in here. There it goes, focused. And one end comes down to each side. That's going to be for your left and for your right. And that blue wire coming up on top, you can connect it to whichever one of these ones you decide to cut. So for us sort of here, I'm just going to, I'm going to cut the green and I'm going to make one end. It's going to be your, uh, your ground. And the other end is going to go down to a red wire. So we're going to make this one go up. So let's do uh, gray for ground and we'll do green for feedback. So now this blue wire will be soldered in, in line with the green. And then you'll have a red for each side and the other end of the gray coming from the light bulb side this way is going to go straight to ground. And for us right here, this is really good because we've got a ground wire going right here, not too far away from where we're cutting. So that makes things a lot easier for us. And uh, when I wrap it all up, I'm going to show you what it looks like. And then you can just wrap up the whole harness with tape and uh, call it a day. I'll show you guys how it works. All right, for that's for another video though. All right, stay tuned.